Thanks for stopping by to my channel where I talk about all things from gardening to gadgets on a budget. Now, if you want to learn just how easy it is to grow ginger indoors, then stay tuned. Alrighty, thanks for sticking around. Now, I just want to show you just how easy it is to grow ginger indoors, even in your living room. And I'm picky about my living room. My kids can tell you that. So, let's get started. Alrighty. So the first thing that we're going to need is a pot or container and generally it's better if you have a container that has a wider rim and is more shallow because ginger grows horizontally so it would be more advantageous if you have that. Next you'll need some organic ginger. I got mine from the grocery store. Then you'll need some all-purpose potting soil and last but not least water okay now so it's usually said that ginger is a root but actually it's a rhizome which is a continuously growing underground stem that sends out roots and shoots from its nodes and these little things that are sticking up are the nodes so the main difference between a rhizome and a root is that a rhizome is a stem and does the job of a stem even if it works underground. Now those little sprouts that you see are called eye buds and they are similar to the eyes on potatoes. Now when you plant them, you plant them with the eyes pointing up. Now the best pieces of ginger to use are those that have the most nodes or nodules on them because that means you'll get the most shoots or plants off of them. Alrighty, so the first thing that we're going to do is add our potting soil to our container. When choosing your potting soil, check to see if it contains sand, perlite, vermiculite, or wood chips as these allow for good drainage. Also, when choosing your container, make sure that it has a drainage hole so that your plants won't get waterlogged. Now that I have my dirt in my container, I'm gonna go ahead and place my ginger in the dirt as well. And as I do it, I am making sure that my nodes or nodules are pointing upward. Since I'm using more than one piece of ginger in the container, I'm making sure that I leave several inches in between them so that they will have enough space to grow. Now that I have my ginger placed in my container the way I want it, I'm going to go ahead and add more soil. Next, I'm going to spread the soil around evenly and give it a good drink of water. While I'm repeating this process, let me give you a few tips on how to take care of your newly planted ginger. Now, ginger comes from the tropics, so we have to try to mimic that environment. Try to maintain the temperature between 60 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit, even at nighttime. Mist it with a spray bottle once a day or water it with a watering can twice a week. It does not like direct sunlight, so find your brightest window and keep it there where it will not get direct sun. If your leaves are turning yellow, that might mean it's getting too much water or not draining properly. If your leaves are looking brown and scorched, that might mean that your plant is getting too much direct sunlight and you should probably move it to a different location. Ginger grows fairly slowly compared to other herbs. You should see shoots coming up through the soil after two to three weeks, but the ginger won't be ready to be harvested until three to four months after planting. Now, if this video was helpful for you, hit the like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.